Welcome back to Arsenal News TV and today we're going to first look at Arsenal star Granit Xhaka's Roma transfer could be hijacked after France masterclass and then we're going to look at Manchester United in discussions for Ruben Neves transfer as Arsenal face threat to do. So the first transfer headline states that Arsenal star Granit Xhaka's Roma transfer could be hijacked after France masterclass. So the reports are stating that Roma are optimistic they will complete the signing of Granit Xhaka from Arsenal after the European Championship. Juventus are reportedly planning to hijack Roma's move for Granit Xhaka, reports in Italy claim. The Gunners midfielder is expected to depart the Emirates Stadium after the tournament and has already agreed personal terms ahead of his potential move to the Stadio Olimpico. Granit Xhaka has just two years remaining on his current contract in North London, with all parties now in agreement that this could be the right time to move on. The player himself has already made it clear that he intends to join Roma in the coming weeks. Also know what I wanted, it is very beautiful here. Granit Xhaka recently said when quizzed about the transfer rumours, yet Roma have been forced to wait to conclude the deal due to Switzerland's progress at Euro 2020. Last night, Granit Xhaka was excellent for his country as he stunned France to defeat them on penalties after a free free draw in Bucharest. According to Calcio Mercato in Italy, Xhaka's performance has encouraged Juventus to launch a late move for his services. It is reported that the Bianconeri are set to turn their attentions to Granit Xhaka should they struggle to secure the signing of Manuel Locatelli. The Sassuolo Maestro caught the eye in Italy's opening wins over Turkey and Switzerland at Euro 2020 but has since lost his place in Roberto Mancini's side to Marco Verratti. Roma will be hoping they can get the deal in place as soon as possible. As it stands, they have offered just £10.3 million with a further £3 million in add-ons, also want more than that and have told them to raise their offer. Speaking last night, Granit Xhaka found it hard to keep his emotions in check after Switzerland's stunning comeback win against the world champions. Sorry to say this word, but it's been amazing man, Xhaka told UEFA. We can make the score 2-0 and finish the game but the penalty we missed breaks us a little bit. After 3-1, comeback like this against France to show big character, this team is amazing. Arsenal are hoping to bring an Agnes-like midfielder Albert Sambi Lokonga on a permanent deal as a suitable replacement to Granit Xhaka. So it looks like Arsenal star Granit Xhaka's Roma transfer could be hijacked after France Masterclass as it looks like Juventus are going to now battle Roma to try and get the signature of Granit Xhaka after Juventus now are reportedly interested and see Granit Xhaka as a suitable alternative to Sassuolo midfielder Manuel Locatelli but it looks very likely that Granit Xhaka will not be an Arsenal player next season and he will be sold in the summer transfer window as he's looking for a team with European football and he has pretty much had a very t- bad time at the Gunners. He's had some good moments and some bad moments in his five-year career with Arsenal. But there have been some very ugly moments as well in an Arsenal shirt for Granit Xhaka and those are memories that Arsenal fans will never forget and that's something that Granit Xhaka will never forget as well. It's pretty much persuading himself to move to a club outside of Arsenal as there's still that negative vibe around Granit Xhaka still in the Arsenal fan base. So this nicely takes us on to the second piece of transfer news which states that Manchester United in discussions for Ruben Neves transfer as Arsenal face threats to deal. So the reports are stating that Manchester United and Arsenal both have transfer interest in Wolves star Ruben Neves. Manchester United are reportedly in discussions over a potential deal for Ruben Neves. The Wolves star has been tipped to leave Molyneux since the transfer window reopened, with Arsenal largely seen as favourites. However, the Portugal international could be primed to move to Old Trafford instead. Manchester United have already made a positive start to the transfer window. They are already on the verge of landing Borussia Dortmund star Jadon Sancho. He has already told England teammates he'll be playing at Old Trafford next season. Manchester United also are making progress on a deal for Real Madrid centre-back Rafael Varane, who could follow Sergio Ramos out of the Bernabeu exit door. And they are continuing to work on a potential arrangement for Kieran Cini too. Over the past few days, the Red Devils have been linked with Rennes' Eduardo Camavinga, who has just one year left on his current contracts. But while that's the case, Eurosports' Dean Jones has claimed Manchester United are in discussions over a deal for Wolves star Ruben Neves. 
in midfield. Ruben Neves is still a player they're not having major talks with, but they're still in discussions there, he told the Football Terrorist podcast. Also, the ones that are being linked with Ruben Neves, but United are still in that conversation. The revelation was made after Jones claimed Manchester United were likely to win the unlikely to win the race for Camavinga. He was expected to stay in France, whether that's with Ren or PSG. You're telling me after everything that's gone on with Jaden Sancho, they're on the side to pay hundred million pounds on a deal that hasn't been talked about until now. He had said, "I think that price for a player who's just got one year left on his contract. How is that going to be a thing?" Obviously, look, Camavinga is one of the best teenage talents in world football. Manchester United would have been scouting him for a while. They were upset they didn't get Jude Bellingham. They were convinced that was going to happen. This is all about the next-gen thing. Any club on Manchester United sides are looking at these players all the time. They have to be kept in the loop on what is happening, particularly when it comes to a point when he's going to be leaving. I checked with a couple of people in France and then they think it's far more likely he stays in France for now. They don't think him joining Manchester United seems like the most realistic outcome from here. Ruben Neves was part of the Portugal side who exited Euro 2020 on Saturday night with the defending champions losing 1-0 to Belgium. And a surprise move to Manchester United could be on the cards even if Arsenal appeared to be in the mix as well. The Gunners will need a replacement for Granite Xhaka who is expected to link up with Jose Mourinho or link up with Maximiliano Allegri at Juventus in Serie A and their need is arguably greatest as a result. Manchester United are well stopped for midfielders at present but could lose Donny van der Beek and Paul Pogba. Van der Beek has barely featured since arriving from Ajax a year ago and has emerged as a target for Inter Milan who have raided the Red Devils for Alexis Sanchez, Lukaku, Ashley Young in recent years. Neves has been at Wolves since training from Porto in 2017. He helped them with the, win the championship the following year and since then has caught the eye with some solid and slick showings in the Premier League. So Arsenal may lose the battle to Manchester United in trying to sign Ruben Neves in the summer transfer window. So Mikel Arteta will need to hurry up with these signings if he wants to get good top quality players in the Arsenal squad as there are other clubs ready to pounce upon the transfer if Arsenal fails to do so. So we'll have to wait and see how Arsenal will use the summer transfer window in the end and make sure you smash the like button to see if you can get 20 likes. Also hit the subscribe button for more daily Arsenal news videos, comment below if you think these are good transfer deals and click one of the latest videos on the screen and I'll see you there.